Good morning. Thank you all for tuning in yesterday. It was amazing how many people connected in some way, whether it was through Jen Taylor's uh, live broadcast on Facebook or whether it was uh, Ted's adult education uh, series or the sermon or your comments, uh, likes, and just your engagement. It uh, was incredibly buoying to know uh, that the church can still be church in, in different ways. I was also buoyed with the people uh, that have reached out, people who have said, uh, if there's anybody who is uh, uh, vulnerable and needs uh, errands run, whether to the pharmacy or the grocery store, to, uh, uh, to let them know. And so I'm encouraging all of you, uh, one, uh, lean in on uh, one another uh, more figuratively at this time of year uh, than literally, but, um, but reach out if you have needs, reach out to those that uh, you're concerned about uh, or know of in this community or in your neighborhoods that, uh, that need extra attention and maybe... Uh, you can be one of those angels that delivers food or uh, brings needed, um, uh, uh, needed medicines or uh, whatever you may be able to, to provide to another person. Uh, maybe just the phone call and the prayer uh, is, is really at the heart of it. Uh, but definitely reach out uh, both outward to those uh, with needs and to those who have particular needs. Reach out to us and we will find somebody to help take care of it. We want to take care of one another. Uh, continue to lift each other up in prayer, uh, and um, let's continue to be church. One of the ways that we're going to do that is uh, by providing a daily point of contact, a daily meditation. Uh, the first one uh, is already posted uh, as of um, the time that you receive this, uh, but every morning, whether we've advertised it yet or not, uh, you can wake up and begin your day with a daily meditation. Uh, these meditations are based on the daily lectionary readings during Lent. Uh, you can find that if you Google lectionary page uh, and uh, follow a link called lectionary page, uh, you can get every day's readings and you can read those uh, either afterwards or before you, uh, you hear the meditation. And these meditations will be uh, from the people of St. James. They'll be from the clergy and the staff uh, and the leaders uh, and, and folks, uh, folks throughout this community uh, trying to figure out how these readings speak to them about Lent and about this uh, strange season that we're in. Um, and with that, I wanted to, to close with a prayer for, uh, for all of us. This is from the New Zealand prayer book. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God of the present moment, God who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bring hope and courage to us as we wait in uncertainty Bring hope that you will make us the equal of whatever lies ahead. Bring us courage to endure what cannot be avoided. For your will is health and wholeness. You are God, and we need you. Amen.